backdrop today. And that's because I wanted to film somewhere different than my room, trying to get the lighting right and everything. And overall, just trying to make it more convenient for me. So today I have a different kind of video. And I borrowed this idea from someone that I'm subscribed here to on YouTube. And I'll put her channel link below. And basically you have a sort of basket of products that you use for the week. So that you can kind of get to your whole collection and you don't really neglect anything. I just have everything here in a little bag. Everything that I've been using daily for face, eyes, lips, whatever. So the first product I have here is for face and is my Revlon Color Stay Foundation. And this is in Sand Beige. I really like this foundation. It's for combination oily skin and I really like the texture and the way it applies and how it looks and how it lasts throughout the day. Um, this is a 24 hour foundation. I don't really know if it lasts that long but I know it keeps me matte throughout the day. The second product I also have for face and is my e.l.f. High Definition Powder. This is just a white translucent powder that I use to set my makeup and it's very soft and silky and I really have been enjoying it. The third product for face is my L'Oreal True Match Concealer Crayon and this is in light medium. And I really love the texture of this, how creamy it is and how much coverage it does have. And I like that it actually lasts on my skin throughout the day because I do have really oily skin and most concealers I have to reapply or just don't last throughout the day but I really do like this one. The fourth product for my face is my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Spot Eraser Concealer and this is obviously for my under eyes and when I tried this I didn't really know how it was going to work. I've heard some mixed reviews but I absolutely love this for my dark circles. I have naturally very dark circles and this is just awesome. It's not really much of a concealer as it is a corrector because it's very yellow toned and that cancels out the darkness under your eyes and this just really really works. The second to last product I have for my face is my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer and this is in Sunny and this is what it looks like. There are a lot of mixed reviews about this as well and I've heard it looks orange. My skin tone it looks perfect and it's matte and I really like the pigmentation on this and how soft it is and how it really does add color to my face and last throughout the day but I think on fair skin tones this is going to look orange on you so I wouldn't recommend it if you are honestly honestly Nope, they're not done. Anyway, so I wouldn't recommend this bronzer if you are of fair skin toned. Last product for my face is my e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder. And I actually don't really use the bronzer much because it is so sparkly, but I do use the blush um, off and on during the week because... I don't know, a lot of people don't use it and they mostly use the bronzer, but I really like the blush more than the bronzer because as you saw, I already have one and I'd rather have a matte bronze all over the face rather than a shimmer all over the face. The next product is for my eyes and it is my Too Faced Shadow Insurance and this doesn't really work for me that well. I find that Urban Decay Primer Potion or the e.l.f. Mineral Primer works better for me, but I'm not going to waste my money on it. I'm going to use it and what I've been doing is adding my foundation to my eyelids as well because I have very oily eyelids and most of the time my eyeshadow creases no matter what I use but I thought you know hey my foundation is for oily skin so you know my eyelids are just more oily skin so I thought I just put it on my eyelids and it really does help along with my next product. The next product for my eyes is my Maybelline 24 hour color tattoo and this is from the new metal line and mine is in inked in pink and this is what it looks like and it's just a pink metallic color and these really do last a very long time on me without my foundation they still do crease but it's not as bad as if my eyeshadow were to crease just with a primer and I love these and they're pigmented and they're creamy and they last a long time and I just think they're a really good value at the drugstore. The next product for my eyes is the Coastal Sense Go Palette in Beijing. And I got this because I thought this would be the perfect palette for fall. And even though fall is gone, I still do love using it. It consists mostly of pinks and there's a plum color and a black. And they're very pigmented, very soft and silky. 
and they go great with my color tattoo and I just love how compact it is and it's great for on the go. Last product for my eyes is my e.l.f. 3-in-1 mascara and I got this thinking that it wasn't really going to do anything because e.l.f. is, you know, it's a cheaper brand. Well, I shouldn't say cheap because it's not cheap. It is good quality but um, it's just more affordable. This was only $3 and here is what the brush looks like. And I thought this was really interesting, but I have been loving this mascara. It separates, it volumizes, it definitely lengthens, and I just love how it looks. And I especially love the applicator because the brush has a little kind of torture ball at the end of it, and that really helps for defining and getting into the little lashes on the inner corner and the lashes that I usually forget about on the outer corner. I have two products for lips, and my first is my Maybelline Baby Lips, and this is in Peppermint. And I like how this moisturizes, but the taste is really, really weird because when I put it on, I swear I can taste the SPF in it. And it's really strange, and it's not really an attractive thing to put on my lips, I guess. So I only put this on um, in the morning before I am applying my lip color. And then I'll take it off and I'll put on my lip color because... You know, it tastes weird, and I'll never put it on before I eat because then I can kind of taste it while I'm eating it. It just ruins the food, and it's not really fun. And the last product I have is my Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Lip Butter. I don't know. My Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain, and my the shade I have is in Honey, and this is what it looks like. And at first, I saw this swatched on Pinterest, and it looked like a really nice light pink, and I bought this at Hannaford. And I opened it up and it looked like this and I was like, oh my goodness, it's really dark. Because the packaging is light, the swatch on the, I don't know if you can see that, on the bottom is a light pink. So I was like, okay, it's a light pink. And I opened it up and it was very, very dark. And also at first I really didn't like this because it was dark and it smelled like like peppermint menthol smell. And I was like, oh, I do not want that on my lips at all whatsoever. But when you put it on, it's not that dark. You can build it up to a dark color, um, but it's still not very dark, and it does stain your lips. And I kind of like the minty taste smell after a while. I kind of got used to it, and this does last for a long time, and it's kind of grown on me, and I definitely want more. So those are all the products that I've been using this week. Um, I might try to do this every week. I'm not sure if I'll be keeping up with it or not but I will definitely be keeping up the trend even if I don't make a video out of it. I'll definitely start using my products, you know, certain products every week just so that I can keep going and I can, you know, make sure that I use all of my eyeshadows and my face products and stuff because I do have a lot of eyeshadows especially and I don't really use them all and I really need to start using them. This isn't really a tag, but, you know, if you guys want to start doing this, definitely, definitely try it out because I think it's really good if you have a sort of bigger collection. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.